everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by. This is your first time here. My name is Natalia and for today's video, we're going to talk about some hair products that I recently bought. So Ulta had a kind of like a 21 days of beauty a few weeks ago, but it was not really 21 days of beauty. I think they call it their Ulta something sale, whatever, but they had a ton of different items. And then I think it was part of that but they also had a ton of uh, hair products that were on sale for 50% off. So I decided to place orders as the sales went along. And these are the items that I got. Most of them are hair products. We have some um, skincare and some makeup. I've been really focusing on my hair. This is my natural hair, I guess you can say. So lately what I've been really enjoying is just kind of letting it air dry and then applying a few curls in between. So um, you'll see that in between my hair, it's like my natural texture, but then I have some curls thrown in and I've been using this tool that I bought from Amazon. I think it's from Conair. If I can link it, I'll link it below. But as you guys can see, it's a smaller barrel and it actually really mimics like my natural curls and my curls already give me like the texture that I need and the volume so all I need to do is just make it a little bit more structured when I want to go out somewhere or something if my curls are not behaving like I want them to which a lot of the time if you have curly hair you know that curls do whatever they want but let's go ahead and get started so I bought two masks so I got the Eva NYC main magic 10 in 1 shine mask now this one i've heard a lot of people talk about um mains my mel her sister amanda they both talk about this brand a lot i have tried a lot of the products from evan wayne some have worked some haven't this one i haven't tried yet so i was excited to give it a try so it is a very thick kind of cream and I love this type of products. A lot of the time I'll do like one regular conditioner and then I'll do a mask. So I do every other wash a mask. And that's because my hair is very, very textured and it can be very frizzy. So masks like these really, really help to keep that at bay and they just give the moisture that I need. Especially if you have curly hair, you know that your hair most of the time will lack moisture. So these products are great. Also, it smells like... I don't know if you guys have, if you guys have the um, heat protectant from Evan YC, the 10 in 1, and you guys have smelled that, this smells exactly like it. So it's not super, super strong. This is one that has been in my wish list for a very long time. This is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. This one smells coconut and fig. I mean, it's the perfect way to describe it. It's like a tropical... I don't know, almost like a SPF or lotion that you would wear on like vacation or something. It smells very, very nice. I don't have to use very much of my hair. It's a deep conditioning mask that helps to strengthen and get hair back its pure virgin state. Nourishes, damaged hair, help improve shine and texture, hydrates and targets for it, which is exactly what I need. I've only used it once or twice at this point. And I really like how it hydrates my hair. And yeah, I have nothing bad to say about it. I think it's really good. I don't know if I would pay full price for it yet. I was going to buy two. But then by the time I thought about buying two, the sale had ended, which was kind of sad. And then also from the same line from Emma NYC, I got the Main Magic 10-in-1 Split End Mender. And this is supposed to mend split ends, anti-breakage, and reduce frizz. I did use this on this wash that I have right now. I use a conditioner and shampoo that I'll show you right now and then I used this on my end so it's supposed to kind of like seal your split ends it smells just like the mask really nice so far I don't know if it was like the shampoo or if it was this but something made my hair very very soft like I didn't apply any styling product at all all I did was just air dry it after shampooing and conditioner and then added this after I got out of the shower and my hair as you guys can see looks extremely soft not really frizzy at all and i don't know this might be a good one the next product i got were for my actual curly hair days so right now it's not really curly it's just kind of air dried and this is what we got but on the days that i want to leave it curly i bought this one from curl smith 
which is supposed to be a moisture memory reactivator, reviving spray for curly, wavy, or dry hair. And I tried this already once last time I had my hair curly and I really liked it. I don't think it weighed down my hair. It wasn't super heavy. But what I did is I just sprayed it onto my hand and rubbed it in and it just kind of like woke up my curls. And I feel like it worked. I don't know if it's something that I would repurchase yet. Um, I would have to keep trying it and play with it to see if it's worth having. And then this one I've had in my wish list for a while too. This is the AG Care Mousse Gel Extra Firm Curl Retention. It's supposed to define curls, firm hold, and give you a high shine. And as you guys can see, this bottle is really big. Um, you need like the tiniest bit because obviously mousse foams up. So I haven't used it super often. I think at this point I've used it twice and I like the result that I gave my hair. I've seen Amanda, um, the sister of Mains My Mel, use this a lot so i wanted to give it a try her curls always look really pretty she does have different hair type than i do because her curls are different plus she has a lot more hair so things look different on her than they do on me but i figured i give it a try if i didn't like it i could return it and i'm definitely gonna keep it just because i like how my hair looks in the end i just don't know if it's something that i'll continue purchasing these next ones actually funny story during the sale sephora was having basically the same sales of the products because that's just what Ulta and Sephora now do. They compete for basically your purchases. Verb was having a sale on a lot of their products and I originally had bought the shampoo and conditioner at Ulta, but then I realized that the jumbo size, and I mean jumbo size, jumbo size, was on sale at Sephora. So I decided to place an order for these and I returned the other ones. So the other ones, I don't remember the ounces, but they were $10 after the sale and these were 20 after the sale. But this was supposed to be more than twice the size. So obviously I bought these. I have used their conditioner before and I really liked it, but I haven't used their shampoo. So I'm excited to give it a try. They're supposed to be um, color safe, this light as air shampoo is formulated to smooth frizz and add shine. And then for the conditioner, it says first goes conditioner, detangles, adds shine and softens with weightless hydration for fine hair and daily washers. Powered by morning Moringa oil, this light as air conditioner is formulated to smooth frizz and replenish moisture without weighing your hair. So as you guys already know, cause I already mentioned it, I have thin hair so I want a product that's not gonna weigh my hair down so I was excited to get these in a jumbo size I don't know where the heck I'm gonna put them in my shower didn't think this through but here we are keeping these excited to have them and yeah I would highly recommend the verb ghost line I really like their oil their conditioner is really good and their products are just really good they smell very neutral, but I also like that they don't have any of the chemicals and gunk and things that you find in a lot of conditioners. And the price is like really good for these, especially if you can buy them on sale like I did. So I've been hearing my hairstylist talk about this brand a lot lately. I believe she has like some type of partnership with them or something like that because she promotes them a lot. But you know, like I said, my hair is so unpredictable and it's really hard to figure out what products work and what doesn't. So for me to try a new product that is expensive, it's really hard for me because then if it doesn't work, I, or I could just use it once and then not work. I could use it 10 times and still not know if it works versus a cheaper product or something that I got on sale. I don't feel as bad if it doesn't work. I don't know if that make any sense, but anyways, so these I had to try even though I wanted to because they were expensive. So I was excited to see that they were on the sale during the Ulta sales. These are the DV brand. And I believe they're new to Ulta, but like I said, I've heard about it from my hairstylist before. So the shampoo detoxifies product buildup, moisturizes dry hair and scalp, and repairs repairs breakage. And then the conditioner is supposed to nourish hair follicles, strengthen hair strands, protect against damage. So this is what I used the other day on my hair alongside the split mender or whatever it's called from E1YC. And I think these are actually really good. So I'm excited that I got to try them and I'm excited to maybe repurchase them. We'll have to see because I've only used it once. But the shampoo has like a minty sensation on your hair. Like it's really cooling. And I did the double cleanse with the shampoo 
and I feel like I left it on a little bit longer the second time just to kind of let it do a thing and I could feel it like cooling on my scalp and it just felt really really clean the conditioner at first I thought wasn't really doing much because it was very thin on my hair and typically I go for conditioners that are thicker because my hair is textured and blah 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 I wanted to feel like it's doing something for my hair so at first I was like mm, this is probably not gonna work but after I took it off and styled it I don't know I think I might like it I know they have like a leave-in conditioner they have a mask and a few other products if you guys have tried this have similar hair to mine let me know what your experience has been because I would be curious to try more of their products and like I said I don't mind paying extra if I know something's gonna work for my hair I just never know if it will so if I can find it on sale try it out it makes me very excited so I'm excited to have these I like rotating my hair products I feel like my hair gets used to products could be in my head I don't know but I like rotating so for example I get to halfway down a bottle and I'll switch it out for another one that I have in my little backup and I like doing that I feel like my hair really likes it because I feel like it kind of like reminds my hair of a good product I don't know moving on to skincare this is all that I bought but I was very excited to see that it was in the sale this is the Tula skincare the cold classic purifying face cleanser this has been one of my favorite face washes for a very long time I go on and off from it just because it is expensive at full price but it is included in a lot of sales so whenever it is on sale I usually pick it up use it up and then repurchase it again when I see it on sale and I love 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 this face wash my skin feels very clean after but it doesn't get stripped and like I don't know if you ever like you wash your face and like you're left with that like almost squeaky clean I don't like that feeling if you do great I just don't and this one doesn't do that it feels clean but it doesn't feel stripped and like tight or anything I'm trying to get through the one that I'm using right now which is from Bioma and after I'm done with this one I'm gonna jump on the Tula and I'm just excited to have it and then two makeup products I ended up picking up the it cosmetics bye bye dark spots correcting corrector and serum I've used this twice and I think I like it I didn't use the little applicator that it comes with on the very top just because I don't know I just don't really like it I don't really know if it would work maybe if I took it like on traveling or something for like an easy touch-up I would use it I got the shade light neutral 22 and I feel like it matches me really well when I first apply it it looks a little bit light but once I blend it in it looks really nice and it matches me really well this is what the doe foot applicator looks like very nice love that it has like a little bit of a slant it looks like it has a dip which collects a product which makes it perfect for application and i've heard really good things about this concealer i had it in my wish list for a very long time again excited that it was on sale and then my beloved it cosmetics uh 200 is it 200 102 i don't know where i got 200 102 brush is my favorite i love applying my foundation with this had to get a new one it was on sale couldn't resist love it so much i think i have this is my fourth one at this point third one i don't really know lost count but love this if you guys want to see my brushes declutter that already went up to i showed you guys other, my other foundation brushes and this is one of them didn't get rid of any of them because i love them that much and um yeah so excited to have that but that is going to be it for the product that i picked up during the sale at ulta very excited to have all these products it was a lot of hair care like i already said honestly what i've been doing lately with all these sales that are happening because i feel like it's one after the other after the other and nobody has this much money to spend at least i know that i don't so what i do is i like adding things to my wish list or my cart or whatever and then when i see that a sale is coming if those items are included in the sale then i purchase them but i try to not look for things that I just I'm not interested in just because they're on sale just because I feel like that's where you fall into a very dark hole and you just can't get out I will link everything that I talked about in the description below let me know what you guys thought of this haul let me know if you guys have tried any of these products and if you guys love them or you don't I would love to hear from you but that's going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please remember to give me a thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed already I would appreciate if you would do so and I hope you have a blessed day wherever it is that you are thanks